Hey foodie, let's make some Jamaican KFC copycat coleslaw. So for this coleslaw, you're going to need a whole green cabbage, a white onion, and a medium carrot. You're gonna start by cutting the top of the cabbage off. And you're gonna peel away those leaves of the cabbage that are bruised or not completely whole. Some of them might be wrinkly. You wanna get rid of those. Then you wanna cut your cabbage in half. And for this recipe, we're only going to use a half. Now, if you want more coleslaw, you can definitely double up and use a whole cabbage. Start by making some large slices down the side of the cabbage. They're about a half inch wide. As you're cutting, try to cut around the core so we can get rid of that. So you wanna take about two or three slices of the cabbage and you're gonna cut crosswise. The back part of your knife closest to the handle is the sharpest part of the blade. So as you're using your knife to cut anything, you wanna put as much pressure as you can on the back end of your knife. And you're gonna cut crosswise these slices as many times as possible to get them into smaller pieces. And I'm just going to keep cutting crosswise each of these slices and getting the cabbage into as many small pieces as I can. If you come upon a piece of core, just remove it and discard it. We don't want that heavy piece of core in our salad. And keep cutting crosswise. And if you watch what I'm doing here, is I'm using my knife to run it through all of the pieces that I already cut. And I'm trying to get this really minced as small as I can. The goal here is to get each piece of cabbage to the size of a rice grain. These are the last few slices that I'm working on here. And if you look at what I've done so far in comparison to what I'm slicing now, you'll see how small I have gotten the first pieces to be. I'm gonna do the same thing. Keep on running the back end of that blade through the cabbage until I get it as small and as even as possible. That's really, really super important to get the type of slaw you want. Now, you can do this with a food processor. I prefer to do it by hand because I'm able to see and feel all of the pieces during the process, and I know that everything is nice and even. With a food processor, you run the risk of getting this chopped up too fine, and I don't want that to happen. I still want this to have um, good sized pieces in it and a good bite. So put on a good song and keep going. For me, I love all of the sounds and the textures and the smells of the kitchen. So as I'm doing this and I'm feeling the crunch of the cabbage between my knife and my board, it actually feels really satisfying to me. So keep going, keep chopping your cabbage until you get it into very, very small bits again we're going for the size of a grain of rice for each piece of cabbage. All of them won't be even, but they will be close to even because you're choosing to do this the long way. 
and the long way usually gets the best results. So what I'm doing here is I am folding and chopping, folding and chopping. And I just keep running my knife through the cabbage, folding it and running my knife through it until I get the pieces the size they need to be. That's it, perfect. So I'm going to scoop all of this into a glass bowl and I'm choosing a glass bowl because I want to clean film this afterwards and it'll work best on a glass bowl so for our next step I'm going to cut the ends from my carrot and use a vegetable peeler to get rid of the skin make nice thin peels here So here I'm using the largest part of my shredder on my grater to shred the carrot down. Then I'm bringing all of the shredded pieces of carrot into a small pile and I'm using that back end of my knife to run through those carrot pieces. I'm trying to get them as small as possible. Now this recipe in particular does not call for a lot of carrot. If you truly love carrot and you want it in there, put as much as you want. But in this recipe, I'm only using a half. For the onion, I'm taking a quarter of this white onion, which is going to go a really long way because we're chopping it very thinly. So I'm looking for a, a small dice on this onion I'm just running the back of my blade through the onion, getting it as small as I possibly can. Now you will be absolutely sure that it is the right size and it is small enough when all of that onion can sit on the blade of your knife. Yes, this is a recipe of love and patience. Keep on running your knife through the onion and there you have it. Now it's time to make the dressing. So we're gonna start with some real mayo and some heavy cream. To that, I'm gonna add some freshly squeezed lemon juice, no seeds, some apple cider vinegar, salt, and of course, fresh cracked pepper. That's my favorite. The last thing we're going to add is some granulated white sugar. And you're gonna mix that and dissolve the sugar into the dressing. So you're gonna mix this for a while because we wanna make sure that all of the granules are properly dissolved. Perfect. To your cabbage and carrots, you're going to add your minced onion and you're going to spoon in all of that lovely dressing over your cabbage. Use a spoon to mix it all in really, really well. I want to make sure everything is fully incorporated. You're going to take some cling film and cover the top of this bowl and set it in your refrigerator. Now this coleslaw is ready to eat right now, but it gets better and better with time. So leave it in the fridge for a few hours and absolutely enjoy. 